doing here is start at the front and I'm chasing a growth ring down the full length of the stave. It's a very much a painstaking task but it requires a quite a high level of concentration because you would only go any more than you know three millimeters and then you're into the next growth line like these rings actually fairly close apart. I'll show you So I'm following that one here. As you can see, they bend round like that, so I'm literally going round, following these where it rings round. And yeah, I'm about less than halfway. And this won't be my full length. But after doing this, I'm gonna seal up the ends and then leave it for another six months, hoping it won't crack. But yeah, good fun.
Right, so this is where we're at. We've got a stave that's almost ready for tillering. I've heat treated the back and that's reduced the moisture down from 20 uh, to sub 10. So it should be ready um, to, for completion. So this is the tillering process now. It's a long process and it's probably gonna take me the rest of the day. Let's crack on. But first, that's cuts and notches for the string. So I'm coming up now to the finishing last stages of the tillering process. Um, because I haven't done it that much, it's quite hard to get my eye sort of in. Um, and I think I've, I'm going to stop relatively soon, just in case I go over, over what I need to. But let's do the last finishing touches and see how it goes. That noise was just the cable got caught and it's hit against the bench, thank God. So I'm up 45 pounds at 28 inches, that's not bad.
last week I injured my rib doing jiu-jitsu and uh, really struggling with the pain today. It keeps popping out. It's basically pulled away from its cartilage. So uh, yeah, can't fully fully draw the bow here. But yeah, feels really good. Feels smooth. Turned out well. Finish. I'm going to go with some white one. 